An oil spill of any significance can be detrimental to certain areas. It can affect their entire food chain. It can also affect certain mammals' ability to breathe as they surface. When they go to breathe, they'll wind up actually inhaling oil, and then they can get aspiration pneumonia because their lungs are filling with oil. Oh, terrible. Here in the state of Alaska, the animals that are most time consuming to clean up and treat are birds and otters. Our seabirds up here have very, very thick, hefty down coats, and they're constantly preening. So whenever they get into oil, they'll be constantly trying to clean that oil out and pushing it deeper into their down coats. Fibers of the feather will lock together in order to add their waterproof coating. When oil gets on those feathers, they can't actually zip lock together, so it destroys their waterproofing. They'll wind up becoming hypothermic very, very fast. Their diets are affected because they can't eat because they start ingesting oil, so it makes them sick. Otters are the most affected marine mammal because they have the most dense fur coat, uh, the most hairs per square inch. Their bodies are thermoregulated by that and their contact with the water versus just blubber like a seal or a sea lion or a walrus. So when they get oil into that coat, it'll mat it down and it'll actually reduce an otter's ability to be buoyant. What kind of materials would be found in the mobile vet units to help clean these animals? We've all seen the commercials where dish soap is used to clean ducklings. That's actually what we use. Dish soap is one of the safest things that we can use other than just warm water. The way dish soap works with cutting through the grease, it, you know, this is about to be a big term, it emulsifies the oil, which means it actually traps it in a bubble so that it can't make contact with anything else until you at least rupture that bubble. Thankfully, we have not yet had to respond to a major oil spill in Alaska, but the ASLC is staying prepared to protect this fragile ecosystem for future generations.